Roll up, roll up. Step this way and take your seat, please. The show is about to begin. Music, maestro, please. Introducing, without further ado, that little locomotive with his color so blue. All aboard, if you please, for Brit Allcroft's Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Hold tight, everyone, and take a ride on your favorite railway line. Here he comes. With Thomas the Tank Engine and all his wonderful friends. My branch line is the pride of the line. No engines ever felt prouder than those on the Fat Controller's Railway. And now, for fun and good fortune, there's one place to be. Down for Ways Farm. That's the place, as you will see. You never know what the animals will get up to on Four Ways Farm. But with Voltaire the wise weathercock there to help them, it's bound to be interesting and fun. But exciting escapades of the most daring kind. There's a very special place that you will find. North, south, east or west. The wind in the willows is the place that's best. Badger, Ratty and Mole know all too well that the peace and quiet of the riverbank never lasts. Not when that impossible toad has a mind for mischief. <laughs> there will never be anyone quite like that animal. <laughs> they seek him here, they seek him there. Make no mistake, there's magic in the air. With Sooty and Co. Things never go according to plan at Sooty and Co. And matters aren't helped when Sweep, Sue and little cousin Scampy get involved. Hope is all right. Repeat after me, it's fun to learn our ABC. With numbers and colours you can't go wrong. So here's the teddy bear sing-along. Take two helpful teddy bears, Max and Mims. Add all your favourite nursery rhymes. And now you've got the ingredients to learn everything, from the alphabet to counting and colours. To enjoy and learn, if you are able, from the Ragdoll Children's Video Label. For adventures are plenty and much, much more with Rosie and Jim. Let's see what's in store. Rosie and Jim. There's so much to learn about and lots to enjoy when you jump on board the beautiful Ragdoll boat. Along with Rosie and Jim. The world drifts by the window frame. Now, start your engines, it's off we go, with a little motor car that we all know. He may be small, but fun is his game. He's here for you, and Bram is his name. How can one small car get into such big adventures? A little magic goes a long way, especially when your name is Bram. We hope you enjoyed our little show. Call again any time, we'll be raring to go. All these wonderful videos are available from VCI, where learning is fun, everyone. Here we are. Isn't it a beautiful house? Look at that, Mims. <laughs> In we go.
Nicola, Laura, this is lovely. Gosh, it's a big house, isn't it? Mm. There were lots of big houses a long time ago. Hmm, a long time ago. Oh, I see. It's a good thing we brought this then, isn't it? Why? It's a clock, Mims. This is how you tell the time. <laughs> You're right, Max. It is how you tell the time. <laughs> so why are you laughing? Because there are different sorts of time, Max. A long time ago means in olden days when Grandma and Grandad were children. Yes? And the clock sort of time is telling the time. Um, didn't they have clocks in olden days? <laughs> of course they did, Max. They still had to tell the time. Well then, let's learn to tell the time the way Grandma and Grandad did. That's a great idea. <laughs> Who wants to tell the time? I do. And me. Come on then. Now, let me think. How shall we start? I know. I know. Go on then, Max. You tell us. Let's sing some songs. Yeah! Ah, oh, now, Max, that's not going to be very easy. Mm. Why not? Because it's hard to think of songs about telling the time. Well, I can think of a song about a clock. We can sing Hickory Dickory Dock to start. Yes! Who wants to sing Hickory Dickory Dock? I do! <laughs> <laughs> well, come on then. Hickory Dickory Dock Oh, it's only a little song, Mimsy. Can we sing it again? Of course we can, Max. Come on, then, everybody. Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one, the mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock Tick-tock! <laughs> Now what are we going to sing, Mims? I think I've got a good idea, Max. To help us learn to tell the time? Yes, Max. And sing lots more songs? Yes, Max. Well, go on then. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> no, Max. You tell me. What? You tell me what time's the first time in the morning. I know. Oh, go on. Tell us, Sophie. It's getting up time. That's right, Sophie. Getting up time. And what time is that? My mum says I have to get up at seven o'clock. Go and get the clock for me, Tom. I knew we'd need it, Mims. Thanks, Tom. The big hand on the twelve means o'clock. And the little hand on the seven means seven o'clock. There, seven o'clock. So, who can think of a getting up song? Oh, good, Mims. Now we're going to sing a song. Well, what's it going to be, Max? Um, let me think. A getting up song. Any ideas? I know, I know. Tell me, Nicola. It's called cock a doodle do Well done, Nicola. Cockerels crow in the morning to get people up. cock a doodle do My dame has lost her shoe. My master's lost his fiddling stick and doesn't know what to do. Cock a doodle doo, what has my dame to do? Till master finds his fiddling stick, she'll dance without a shoe. Cock a doodle doo, my dame has lost her shoe. And master's found his fiddling stick, sing doodle doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo, my dame will dance with you. While master plays his fiddling stick for the day. <laughs> now, let me see if I can remember. Oh, getting up time is... Um... Seven o'clock in the morning. The big hand on the twelve and the little hand on the seven. Well done, Tom. Now, who can think of the next time we should learn? Oh, I know this one. It's breakfast time. <laughs> oh, Max. What, Mims? <laughs> and what time is breakfast time? We have our breakfast at eight o'clock. Now, who's got the clock? Tom's got the clock over there. Now then, 
Let me see. The big hand on the 12 again is... O'clock. And the little hand on the... Eight. That makes it <laughs> eight o'clock. Well done, Max. Can we sing a breakfast song now? Yay! So, what do we eat for breakfast? Everything. <laughs> oh, really, Max? I'm oh, sorry, Mims. I like scrambled egg and I like boiled eggs. So, what we need is a song about eggs. And tea. What? A nice cup of breakfast tea. <laughs> well, how about Hickety Pickety My Black Hen? That's a song about eggs. And Polly Put the Kettle On. That's about making tea. Well, come on then, let's sing them. Yeah! Hickety Pickety My Black Hen She lays eggs for gentlemen Sometimes nine and sometimes ten Hickety Pickety My Black Hen Again, everybody! Yeah! Done. Now, what was the other song we were going to sing? Polly put the kettle on. Are you all ready? Yes, come on then. This is going to be such fun. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki take it off again, Suki take it off again, Suki take it off again, then it all gone away. Oh, I really enjoyed that. I know. Let's have another cup of tea, Mims. What? <laughs> I mean, let's sing it again. <laughs> yes, Max. Come on, then, everybody. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki take it off again, Suki take it off again, Suki take it off again, then we all gone away. Can you remember what time that was, Max? Um, that was eight o'clock. The big hand on the twelve and the little hand on the, um, eight. Well done, Max. Well, I wouldn't forget breakfast time, <laughs> would I, Mims? <laughs> After breakfast, I go shopping with my mum. Yes, so do I. What time do you go shopping? At nine o'clock. The big hand on the twelve is o'clock, and the little hand on the nine is nine o'clock. Now, do we know a song about shopping? Um, oh, uh, oh, I do, I do. What is it, Max? Hot cross buns. But hot cross buns isn't about shopping, Max. Oh, yes it is, Mims. When we go shopping, we always buy some buns. <laughs> and they are yummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose so, Max. What do you think? Shall we sing Hot Cross Buns? Yay! Yes! Hot Cross Buns, Hot Cross Buns One a penny, two a penny Hot Cross Buns If you have no daughters, give them to your sons One a penny, two a penny Hot Cross Buns <laughs> And what do we buy? Hot cross buns! Yes, come on then, let's sing it again. Oh, yes, please. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Now then. What time do we go shopping? At nine o'clock. And I've thought of another shopping song. Yay! Oh, have you, Mims? Oh, good. What is it? To market, to market. Oh, yes. Let's sing it. Come on, then. To market, to market, to buy a black pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a bad hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. <laughs> oh, let's do it again! Yay! Come on then, everybody! To the market, to market, to buy a bad pig Home again, home again, jiggity jig To market, to market, to buy a bad hog Home again, home again, jiggity jog 
Oh, that was great. What else do we do when we go shopping? We go to the butchers and the bakers. And the candlestick makers. <laughs> what do you mean, then? Well, it's like that song, isn't it? The butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker. Now, what's it called? Rub a dub dub! Yes, that's it. Well, let's sing it, Mims. Come on, everybody. Yeah! <laughs> Turn them out, knaves, all three. And we've sung three songs about going shopping. Now then, Max, this is a question for you. If Sophie and Ricky spend three hours at the shops, what time is it when they get home? Oh, gosh, Mims, that is hard. Now, now let me think. If they go shopping at nine o'clock, nine and three is... Ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I was just about to say that. It would be 12 o'clock, Mims. That's right, Max. Now, let's have a look at the clock. Oh, look, Mims. At 12 o'clock, both the big hand and the little hand are pointing at the 12. That's right. And you know what time that is, Max. It's your very favourite time. Oh, goody, goody, Mims. It's lunchtime. <laughs> well done, Max. I'm sure you can think of lots of songs about lunchtime. Oh, yes, I can, Mims. Um, ooh, but you know, I can't think of any songs about my very, very favourite lunch. What's that? Bangers and mash. <laughs> What's bangers and mash? Mashed potato and sausages. Oh, yummy. Well, let's see if I can think of some songs for you. Um, um I've got it, Max. What about eight fat sausages? Oh, yes, Mims. And I've thought of one about potatoes. What about... One potato, two potato. Hey, I thought of it first. <laughs> it doesn't matter who thought of it first. Let's sing the songs. Come on, everybody. Eat fat sausages first, Mimsy. <laughs> yes, Max. Come on, let's sing it. Eight fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. Seven fat sausages sizzling in a pan One went pop and the others went bang Six fat sausages sizzling in a pan One went pop and the others went bang Five fat sausages sizzling in a pan One went pop and the others went bang Four fat sausages sizzling in a pan One went pop and the others went bang Three fat sausages sizzling in a pan one went pop and the others went bang. Two bad sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. One bad sausage sizzling in a pan. All on his own and the sausage went bang. Now then, let's sing one potato, two potato. Yay! Come on. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. What's for pudding, Mims? Pardon? What should we sing about for pudding? Well, let's look at the clock first, Max. That's a good idea, Mims. Lunchtime started at 12 o'clock. Um, so if it took one hour to eat our bangers and mash, then pudding time would be... Um, 13 o'clock. <laughs> What's so funny? There isn't a 13 o'clock, Max. There isn't? No, Max. Look at the clock again. After 12 o'clock, it's 1 o'clock. Uh, after 12 o'clock, it's 1 o'clock. Mm-hmm. 12 o'clock is called noon. It's when morning turns into afternoon. Oh, Mims, this is very confusing. No, 
it isn't, Max. Eleven o'clock is in the morning. Yes. And twelve o'clock... Lunchtime. It's called noon. Yes, and after twelve o'clock comes one o'clock. One o'clock in the afternoon. We always go out to play in the afternoon. Yes, we do, Max. But not until after... Pudding! <laughs> Pudding time is one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Big hand on the twelve and a little hand on the one. Well done. Um, now then, we always have fruit for pudding after lunch. Do we know any songs about... Oranges and lemons. Oh, yes, Max. Let's sing Oranges and Lemons. Come on then, everybody. You can be my partner, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clemens. I owe you five bargains, say the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, say the bells of Old Bailey. When I grow rich, say the bells of Shoreditch. When will that be, say the bells of Stepney. I'm sure I don't know, say the great bell of home. Mmm, I love oranges. Let's sing it again for Mims. Yay! Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clemens. You earn me five farthings, say the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, say the bells of Old Bailey. When I grow rich, say the bells of Shoreditch. When will that be, say the bells of Stepney. I'm sure I don't know, says the great bell of bow. So now what time is it, Mims? Is it time to go out and play? Now, let me see. We usually go out to play at half past one. Um, half past, uh, one? Uh, where's that, Mims? It's halfway between one o'clock and two o'clock. So the little hand is halfway between the one and the two. Can you do that, Tom? Well done. Now, Max, where should the big hand be? Well, at one o'clock, the big hand is on the twelve, and at two o'clock, the big hand is on the twelve. Oh, dear. Tom, move the big hand all the way round the clock. There you are, Max. Oh, I see, I see. So between one o'clock and two o'clock, the big hand goes all the way around. So half way around is, um, uh, at, uh, the six? Yes, Max. Am I right? <laughs> yes, Max. Tom, move the big hand half way round the clock. There you are, Max. That's... Half past one. Oh, goody, playtime. <laughs> yes, Max, playtime. What do you want to sing first? What about girls and boys come out to play? Come on, everybody. Are you all ready? Oh, look, Max. I can see some swings over there. Oh, great. Now, what was it Min said? Big hand is on the twelve, that's o'clock. Also, if the big hand's on the six, that's half past. If I remember this, I'll be able to tell the time. Come on, Max, hurry up. Come on, everybody. Girls and boys come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Leave your supper and leave your sleep. And come to your playfellows in the street. Come with a whoop and come with a call. Come with a good will. Not at all. Up the ladder and down the wall, a hot penny roll will serve us all. You've a milk and I've a flour, and we'll have pudding in half an hour. Now then, who can think of another playtime song to sing? Me! Wait a minute, Mims. Shouldn't we look at the clock first? All right, Max. Where's the clock, Tom? Um, over there, Tom. So, Mims. We started to play outside at half past one. So, in another half an hour, it would be two o'clock. Oh, I say, well done, Max. 
You're getting very good at telling the time now. So how long do we usually play for? <laughs> well, you know the answer to that, Max. Oh, uh, well, um... How long do we play out for, everybody? As, as long as we can! <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> so let's sing another playtime song. What's it going to be? I know, Mims. Let's sing Seesaw Marjorie Daw. Oh, that's a great one to sing. Do you know it, Max? Oh, yes, Mims. Let's sing it together. <laughs> Come on, then, everybody. Seesaw Marjorie Daw. Everybody, see so much of it. Oh, we shall have a new master. He shall have a day and day because he can't work any faster. Oh, that was a great song, Mims. So, what time do we usually manage to play until? Let's look at the clock, Max. Now, then, the last time we looked, it was two o'clock. Very good, Max. And can you remember what time we get called for tea? Um, about half past four. Go on then, Max. Well, half past four is halfway between four o'clock and five o'clock. So the little hand is halfway between four and the five. Yes, Max. There you are. The little hand is between the four and the five. And the big hand is halfway around the clock on its way from 12 to the 12. So that makes it six. Well done, Max. That's it, Mims. Half past four. Except that... Oh, no, Mims. It's usually five o'clock when we have our tea. Oh, that's easy, Mims. At five o'clock, the big hand is on the 12 and the little hand is on the five. Well done, Max. Can we sing a tea time song now? Oh, that's a great idea, Laura. What should we sing? Little Tommy Tucker. Oh, yes, Laura. Can we, Mims? Of course, Max. Come on, everybody. We're going to sing Little Tommy Tucker. Yay! Yay! Come on, then, Mims. Let's join in. Let's do it again! Yes! I'm ready. I love singing this song. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? Brown bread and butter. How shall we cut it without their life? How would we marry without their wife? Mmm, I like tea time, Mims. <laughs> it's yummy. <laughs> Max. And do you like bedtime as well? Oh, no, Mims. Is it bedtime already? Well, after tea, Max. I know, Mims. But if we eat all our tea... And you always do. Then we play for a little while before bed. We play with our dolls. We could sing Miss Polly Had a Dolly. Oh, please, Mims. Tom, if you move the hands on the clock to six o'clock... We've got time for another song. There, Mims, that says six o'clock. Quickly, everybody. We're going to sing Miss Polly Had a Dolly. Yay! Oh, goody. Miss Polly Had a Dolly, who was six, six, six. She called for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat. And he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. He looks at the dolly and he shook his head. Then he said, Miss Polly, put her straight to bed. He wrote on some paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning if she's still ill, ill. <sighs> 
I think it's definitely time for bed now, Mims. Oh, I'm sleepy after singing all those songs. What time is bedtime? Oh, oh seven, seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> what time does that say, Tom? Seven o'clock. <laughs> and who knows a bedtime song? Diddle Diddle Dumpling. That's my favourite bedtime song, Mims. Well, come on then, everybody. Are you all ready? Yes, come on then. Oh, this is a great bedtime song, Mims. to sing it again. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I love singing this song. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and the one shoe on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John. Well done, everybody. I know another going to bed song, Mims. Do you, Max? What's it called? It's another favourite. It's called Ten in the Bed. Oh, I know that one. Let's sing it together. Yay! There were ten in the bed and the little one said la la la, la la la. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were nine in the bed and the little one said la a whole day's worth of telling the time. But we were only pretending it was bedtime, Mims. Of course, Max. So, what time is it now? <laughs> time for our picnic, Mims. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can remember all the songs we sang. Yes, it's been such a lovely day. If we sing the songs again, it will make it feel even longer. Well... The first one was Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Tick Tock. Can you remember the next song, Mimsy? Was it a getting up song? Yes, that's right. I remember, Max, cock-a-doodle-doo, and the clock said seven o'clock. Cock-a-doodle-doo, my dame has lost her shoe. My master's lost his fiddling stick and doesn't know what to do. Cock-a-doodle-doo, what has my dame to do? Till master finds his fiddling stick, she'll dance without a shoe. Cock-a-doodle-doo, my dame has lost her shoe. Master's found his fiddling stick, sing doodle doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo, my day will dance with you. While Master plays his fiddling stick for the day with doodle doo. -doo, -doo. <laughs> <laughs> it was breakfast time next, Mims, and we sang Hickety Pickety My Black Hen. And the clock said, eight o'clock. Yes, that's right, Max. Eight o'clock. Hickety Pickety My Black Hen. What was the next song? 
it was still breakfast time and time for a cup of tea. So we sang Polly Put the Kettle On. So the clock said eight o'clock. Oh, this is going to be such fun. Polly Put the Kettle On, Polly Put the Kettle On. chose the next song, Max. Can you remember it? Oh, yes. Hot cross buns. When we go shopping, we always buy some buns. And they are <laughs> yummy. Can you remember what time we go shopping? Um, I can, Mims. Nine o'clock. Yes, Max. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Max, I've forgotten the next song, but I do remember it's another shopping song. Oh, Mims, it was to market to market. <laughs> of course it was. And the big hand was on the twelve, and the little hand was pointing to the nine. Nine o'clock. I can remember the next song, Max. It's about the shops we go to. <laughs> Rubber dub dub. And it's still nine o'clock. The big hand was on the twelve, and the little hand was pointing to the nine. Rubber dub dub, three men in the tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher and the baker and the candlestick maker. Turn them out, names all free. <laughs> the clock was pointing at 12 for the next song, Max. Can you remember what happens now? Mm, yes, I have lunch. Yummy! <laughs> and I remember this time has a special name. 12 o'clock noon. Yes, Max. Eight fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. Seven fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. Six fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. Five fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. Four fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. Three fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. Two fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop and the others went bang. One fat sausage sizzling in a pan. All on its own and the sausage went bang. <laughs> the next song was a really small song, but it's about a yummy food. <laughs> Your favourite, bangers and mash, mashed potatoes. One potato, two potato. <laughs> can you remember the next song, Mims? It was about what we have for pudding. Of course I can, Max. Oranges and lemons. It was one o'clock in the afternoon. The big hand on the twelve and the little pointing at the one. Oranges and lemons. It was playtime next, Mimsy. What song did we sing? Girls and boys come out to play. Oh, yes, of course. Half past one. Oh, goody, playtime. <laughs> 
girls and boys come out to play The moon does shine as bright as day Leave your supper and leave your sleep And come to your playfellows in the street Come with a whoop and come with a call Come with a goodwill or not at all Up the ladder and down the wall A hot penny roll will serve us all You'll find milk and up and down And we'll have pudding in half an hour <laughs> it was still playtime, Max. Wasn't it fun? Oh, yes, Mims, it was. And we sang Seesaw Marjorie Daw. Oh, I do like this song, Mims. Poor little Tommy Tucker, having to sing for his supper. <laughs> it was supper time, and weren't you hungry? Oh, starving. The time was five o'clock. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? Brown bread and butter. How shall we cut it? Laura played with her dolls. Can you remember what time it was? Hmm. Big hand at twelve and little hand at six. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm getting so good now, okay. I can tell the time. Six o'clock. Miss Polly had a doll who was six, six, six. She called for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag. And he knocked on the door with a rat a tat tat He looks at the dolly and he shook his head Then he said, Miss Polly, put her straight to bed He wrote on some paper for a pill, pill, pill I'll be back in the morning if she's still ill, ill This was your favourite bedtime song, Max Yes, Diddle Diddle Dumpling the clock said seven o'clock. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and the one shoe on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John. This was the very last song, Mims. Yes, and it's my favourite bedtime song. Ten in a bed, it is good. What time was it, Max? Mims, it was still seven o'clock. There were ten in the bed and the little one said, la la la, la la la. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were nine in the bed and the little one said, la la la, la la la. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were eight in the bed and the little one said, la la la, la la la. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Thank you very much for teaching me to tell the time, Mims. Oh, that's all right, Max. I had lots of fun. I think it really is seven o'clock now, Mims. Oh, yes, Max. It really is time for bed. We have some special friends, our favourite teddy bears. They're called Max and Mims, and here's a secret we can share. 